Halo Maze. Nigerians have long demanded a significant decrease in cost of governance as a panacea to some of the country's developmental challenges. Proponents of this notion believe that the funds generated may be redirected to other sectors of the economy to trigger or bring about overall development in the country. Approximately 60 lawmakers are proposing modifications to the 1999 constitution to switch from the current presidential to the parliamentary system of government. Ordinarily, one would probably commend this as a brilliant move. However, there are more fundamental concerns and questions that render this a mere charity. One may be tempted to ask, are these legislators in the National Assembly who increased their 2024 budget by 344.5 billion, the same ones that did not allocate funds for its oversight functions, the National Assembly that the constituency project of just four presiding officers is over 30 billion? Who is deceiving who in this country? Is our current challenge in the society that of system decay? or the absence of genuine commitment from the key players. Well, in my view, it has nothing to do with system of government, but that of the legislature, which has simply reneged from exercising its constitutional power to appropriate and conduct oversight on government activities. Effective legislative oversight results in accountability and good governance. Regrettably, the National Assembly has failed significantly in this regard. That is what you get when lawmakers neglect their primary responsibility to make laws for the country in favor of contract racketeering. The move by the 60 lawmakers to switch to the parliamentary system of governance is indeed a distorted representation of the Nigerian people and an indictment on the institution of the legislature. I therefore urge the National Assembly to do all it can to ensure the preservation of our hard-earned democracy until we allow truth honesty and transparency to underpin our official engagements. We shall continue to glow in the dark. So, let's not pull the cart before the horse. My name is Anderson Osebe. God bless me. This message is from Harlow Maze Foundation, Africa. Harlow Maze, parliamentary advocacy and journalism redefined.